In Turkey, this is what you tell the person who made the meal. Elna, Salik, and the person will respond. Okay. Meaning? Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Ya, bless TV. Bless TV abone olup izlemeye devam edin. Keep watching Bless TV. Keep watching Blaze TV. Keep watching Blaze TV. Hey, keep watching Blaze TV. Keep watching Blaze TV. Keep watching Blaze TV. Keep watching Blaze TV with Baba Africa. Keep watching Blaze TV with Baba Africa. Keep watching Blaze TV. You know, life is not all about yourself, but also trying to you know help others. So I mean, Karim is has a very good heart. I mean, looking after people kids like that I, i'm sure by now some of them are very grateful for your works you came to do in africa and and a tool for a gossip so oh. when people are sharing a cup of coffee together they sit and yeah they sit down and they start gossiping, gossiping. Ah, yeah. so <laughs> you know one secret about coffee whenever you go to turkey and you see people drinking coffee and and you will talk about me right uh -huh. gossip about me gossip. Yeah. good <laughs> <laughs> All right. So he also told me something about a, a, a sound when you are yeah, when, when you take your sip. Yeah, a sip. I'm gonna try that. Maybe yeah. you try it first. Is it like it, it goes. Yes, sure. Let me show. And she can show. Okay. Oh, Elena, <laughs> try it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good job. Ah, so, <laughs> now we can do it together. Yeah. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. <laughs> that was good. Hello viewers, you welcome to Blaze TV and as I told you earlier on, we are going to bring you variety now, you know, we are going to spice up this very show. What we're going to do now is we're not just going to bring you food from Africa, but we're also going to bring you food all over the world. Today on the show, I have a wonderful gentleman here with me and I have a wonderful lady as well here with me. They are going to introduce themselves and tell you what they have for you. They are from Turkey and uh, today we are going to have a meal from Turkey. So, uh, may I know your name? Yes, Kerem. Uh, Kerem. Okay, and uh, you? My name is Aileen. Aileen, okay. So, uh, what do you have for us today? Well, we have uh, one main dish, one side dish, and one uh, special beverage. And I also have a special treat for you. Ah, I so. can't wait to <laughs> I can't wait for it. <laughs> okay, the first thing that we are going to cook today, our main dish is going to be um, this eggplant. It's called Okay. It's mainly in English uh, stuffed excellent. Okay. So we will have rice and then judge it next to it. And while we're doing this, I will also uh, prepare a Turkish bag for you. Ah, yeah. I would love to taste it. But I will be the assistant cook. She's oh. going to be the cook. Okay, so I mean, <laughs> you are the captain. So, yeah. I mean, uh, what, 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 how are we going to go about it? And uh, just tell me more about it. Here. Is it, is it something like a traditional meal from Turkey? It's a really traditional meal. If you go in uh, any house in Turkey, they all not near this Okay, meal. so you're all, okay. Yeah, karnirik, pilav and cacik. They're always served together. Okay, what's the name again? Pilav. 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 It's rice. Rice. Karnirik. Karnirik. Karnu. Kalvi. <laughs> ah, okay. I can't, I'm going to bite my tongue anyway. All right. Karnirik, this is the main dish. Right. And cacik. And jajik. Yeah. Okay, so the main meal is a kainyari. Yeah. Yes. And jajik is a uh, like. Mm, yeah, something like side, that. Side, side yeah, dish. All right. Okay, so viewers, as you can see, uh, today you're going to experience something from tech. And then um, let's just wait and see the process. What is this? Uh, yeah. Chili pepper. Chili pepper? Yeah. Is it the hot one? It's hot, yeah. But uh, we will just put it on. on, on, on. 
Indoor. Oh, because I love spices. What a good yeah, 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 okay. 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 All right. So let's stay tuned as they take us through the process um, and see how it goes. So in our main dish today, we are going to be cooking carnero, as we said. And for this, we are going to use the egg tents and the meat. These are the main ingredients. And we are also going to use the chopped tomatoes and the garlic and onion and the pepper as the sauce in it. And as the side dish, we are going to cook some rice. And then as an appetizer, we are going to make some jajik. It's with mainly with yogurt and this cucumber. And I believe this is going to be all. These are the oils and spices that we are going to add to our food. So uh, I, I realized you were I mean, adding some oil. Yeah. How, why do you add the oil to it? Um, just, just a little taste. Okay. Because I said in, in the traditional way they are frying. Yeah, okay. They're That's frying. why I need a little bit of uh, oil taste. Oil taste, okay. That's why. Right. And I'm chopping it that it will be cooked together. Right. But not just deeply. Alright. Because I don't, I, I need a bed here okay. and I will feel it. Okay. These are for later, oh, okay. but these are going to the Straight. I'm putting half oil and half butter. It makes it more tasty. Okay, so which one is this? This is the This is the pillow. This is the pillow. I, I will pull them out. I will wash the pillow and then I will put it on the floor. Alright, okay. I'm just measuring it. So in case you don't know what pillow is, pillow is rice. Yes. Yeah. So it's a normal rice, you know, pillow is rice. Okay, now we are adding the water. Okay. And salt, sorry. Okay. Alright, yeah, we start with the jajuk. This is our appetizer for today. Again, uh, traditional it's, in Turkey. Yeah, cucumber and yogurt. As we Thank said, you. these are all served together with the carniara and pilaf and jerk.
you need to use us with the cucumber. Yeah. Alright, then you add a little water to it. Add the water. Okay. So do you refrigerate it or something? Or that is all you do? Like Yeah, we will uh, put it in the refrigerator for a while. Yeah, it, it's better when it's cool. Okay. That's why. Or you can um, add some ice if you want. Right, it's okay. Instead of water. Push yogurt, is that is it any yogurt or you have a special yogurt you use? Um, no, this is like white yogurt. Yeah, white yogurt. White yogurt. Mm. Right. Right away, it's not the correct one. You heard it, right? Yeah. So now it's ready. Yeah. All right. Let me come. So uh, do you have any special bread you usually eat it at all? Yeah, normally the um, the traditional Turkish bread, white bread. Right? White bread, yeah. the flat ones. Yeah. Flat? flat ones. No, they are. It's the same, but white. No, they are they are different shape. Uh, they said in Turkey after they finish cooking, uh, how do I put it? Is it the leftover? Yeah, the, exactly. the leftover. The extra, extra stuff. The extra stuff, uh, not the main stuff. After they've taken everything, uh, we call it the under. <laughs> 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 the under meal, the kids come for it and you know, eat it with bread. So, yeah, that's what we are doing. Right. Okay. Just mm, nice one. The sauce is good. Yeah. Wow. I don't. I don't want to fill my tummy already before the main comes. Yeah, please. Stop using the sauce. You try really now. Mm -mm. Okay, now what we say? Um, like bon, bon appetit. Bon appetit. A pied torso. Can you say it in? A pied torso. A pied torso. A pied torso. I've yet also, also, that's great. But first, you have to say, um, you have to say to the person who cooked the meal, Eline Salve. Eli? Eline? Eline? Salve. Salve. Yeah, the, the direct translators have to your hands, because you cook it with your hands. Yeah. So I'm going to say to Elina and Darren. Um, Harim? Yeah. Eline? Salve. Salve. Yeah. yeah. And he will respond like, Afiet also. Okay, so let me take it again. Yeah. Elena Kar Karim. No, Elena Salik Kedam. Elena Salik Karim. Yeah. Elena. Elena means to your hand. Okay. Like your hand to your hand. You don't need to say the name on the camera. Oh, okay. yeah. Elena Salik. Elena Salik. Yeah. Afiet also, which means bon appetit. Ah. Yep. Elena Salik. No, Afiet also. <laughs> <laughs> This is good. It's really good. I'm not saying because I cooked it, but it's yeah, delicious. <laughs> I really love this sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. I'm salivating already. <laughs> I don't know what to taste. <laughs> I'm just hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry already. And some tomatoes. Yeah, this is really good. Mm -hmm. Looks so colorful too. I like it. Yeah. That's <laughs> very colorful. Mm. Then we'll put a little bit sauce. This is um, tomato paste. Okay. Water.
bunun için de yapacağız yani kesinlikle için. Hello viewers, our food is ready um, and uh, look how beautiful the meal is. We are actually going to taste this food and I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to say how good it tastes because I can feel it already. It looks good. I already tasted the sauce which was <laughs> top notch. So we are going to add it with the rice and uh, together with the eggplants and also not forgetting our um, judging. Jajik, yes. yeah, Jajik, and see how good this meal is. Um, so, so let's start. Do you remember what they are saying before we start? Ah. <laughs> oh, how did you say it? Um, ah, sal salik. In, yeah. In, in Nizam, Elna, salik. Elna, salik. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so in Turkey, um, this is what you tell the person who made the meal. Elna Salik and the person will respond. Okay, Elna Salik. Okay, Tosun. <laughs> Meaning? Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Yeah. Elna Salik. Bon appetit. Yeah, man. Alright, so we're gonna start. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm a left handed person, so. Yeah. <laughs> It's on. Mm. Mm. You, you know how um the eggplant tastes? It also tastes like a meat. <laughs> yeah. Like the taste blends in it, like yeah. Yeah. Actually, we do not talk when we are eating, but <laughs> this one we are going to do a little talk. <laughs> um, this is basically about turkey, and um, I like to know something a little about turkey. I'm sure most of you watching us don't know much about turkey, and maybe you would want to visit Turkey one day. So I would want um, Elena to tell us something small about Turkey mm. and where to visit next time when you are in Turkey. So Elena, tell our viewers where, where do you suggest to them or I mean recommend to them to visit any time you are in Turkey. Okay. Then when when they want to see any historical places, Istanbul is one of the best historical city in the Turkey, but if they are interested in seaside and hot weather, and then Antalya is the best place. Antalya. Yeah, Antalya is the best place. And we are also coming from Antalya. Mm. <laughs> it's our hometown. Exactly, yeah. yeah. My hometown is like, we used to live in Antalya. My hometown is Antakya. Oh, okay. It's mainly it's Antioch or Antioch. Mm -hmm. um, one of the most important settlings, like, <clears throat> The old times and during the Roman Empire, like it was in one of the main places with the Istanbul, which maybe we were known as Constantinopolis. Yeah. Then it became Istanbul and Antioch, now it's Antakya. These are like has a value and importance for all people in the world, especially the ones like. The Christian, the Muslim, the Jewish people, they all live there happily and peacefully together. This is that kind of a place. And to be honest, you can go any part of Turkey. Like, well, you are not eating, I'm enjoying my meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah go ahead. <laughs> and everybody, you know, you can visit any part of it. For example, there is a place called Cappadocia, magical place. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's almost like surreal when you go there. Mm. So you can also visit Ephesus, it's in the 
uh, even side, the western side of Turkey. And as Aylin also told that uh, many people start from Istanbul and I would say it's not uh, like there cannot be a better choice to start traveling around Turkey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's not enough. Only no, only never Istanbul enough. Is not enough. As you as you travel, you will just discover more and more yeah. because it never ends in Turkey. The tourist attraction places. There are lots of places. There is a wonderful uh, view in north side in okay. Turkey. Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. around around the you know in the, we have a um, sea, the beautiful Black Sea. Uh, it's the border between Turkey and you know like. Ukraine. Ukraine and Russia. Oh. Uh, so, if you like the uh, highlands, traveling highlands and rainy weather, does uh, does Turkey share border with any of these countries, Ukraine and uh, Russia? Yes. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. We. Sorry, what was the question? The, like, do they share border? Do, do, does Turkey share border with? Uh, well, yeah. Like, we do not share the border, but we share the sea border. Mm, okay. Yeah. Mm. If you visit Antalya, and uh, you will see lots of lots of people from Russia and Ukraine, and they already you know they come for holiday. Some of them are settlers, like they live there, mm. and it's been like that for for a very long time actually. Yeah. And I guess the meals are more tasty in the east side of Turkey. Mm. That's correct? Mm -hmm. Do you think, like, yeah, okay. If you are traveling to Turkey to, for food, mm -hmm. you have to travel to the eastern side, which is um, which starts from a city called Adana in my hometown, Antakya. So Adana, Antakya, Gaziantep. Yeah. And these are the places to, to uh, visit mm. for the, you know, the one who are interested in food. So you have not tasted your judge. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay. Good, 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 good together, like. Mm, okay. Judge time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, really good. I think refreshing, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try this a lot. What did you add to it? Was it fully oil? Yeah. And a little, bit, uh, a little bit mint. Mint. Oh. Mm -hmm. Where do you get a mint from? I think. Where can I get a mint? Do you buy it here, the mint? No. Dried mint. Dried right. mint. And this is really hot, by the way. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have to try it. You told me that you like it, and it is. I might end up taking all at once. <laughs> I'm not satisfied with the with the end of this meal because I was a little bit worried mm -hmm. that the eggplant will mm -hmm. not be softened, mm -hmm. but now it's okay. Mm -hmm. And yes, it, it tastes like meat. meat they yeah. are really combined together. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. You see? I How? Love, I love that. I love it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I told you, man. This is good for the cold weather. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three minutes or two zones. Oh, really? You see, I told you, I said, let's have it. <laughs> and I said, I'll it also. <laughs> because it's really like tasty. I think the fabric is a little bit What I'm going to do is, I'm going to sit by the video and wait the present very well. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
is different about Turkish coffee? Yeah. Okay, so what is different about Turkish coffee? So the Turkish coffee has a richer taste. Okay. So when they are um, cooking the beans, the beans, it has a different method to to blend it. So it becomes uh, a solid, more solid copy, mm. and which means like it has diluted, like exactly like pure organic, very and uh, extremely caffeinated. Oh, okay. so when you have one cup of it, so most probably you will not uh, sleep for. Yes, that is exactly. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, exactly. Yes. I actually, I've been looking for a coffee <laughs> that you know. Uh, uh, sometimes you are doing stuff and you don't want to sleep. Early and you want coffee to drink. Most of the coffees I buy around, I mm -hmm. just take them and I feel I start feeling sleepy in the next one hour. I'm like, yeah. this is not coffee, man. <laughs> this is this is the right one way. to go. Because, maybe maybe said, after this, I'm gonna get this coffee yeah. because I want a strong coffee that I, I mean, it can keep me going. I believe we can find some uh, places that sells this coffee in Burma. Even. Oh, I am not sure, but we can look for it. Most definitely, I need yeah. to search for this coffee. You need mind. unfiltered and caffeinated, caffeinated extremely caffeinated. caffeinated coffee. Yeah. yeah. Early in the morning, this is what's going to keep you going. You need yeah. something like this to keep you strong. That, yes. I can see that's why you're always strong, man. <laughs> <laughs> you take something stronger. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now we can do it together. Yeah. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. <laughs> that was good. Okay, so usually uh, the Turkish coffee is served with a sp special plate, as you can see. When you finish it, you uh, put the plate on it, and then you upside down it. And then you wait until it gets cold, like about five minutes. Mm -hmm. After five minutes, you open up the cup, mm -hmm. uh, the, the cup of coffee. Yeah. And then you see some signs in it. Mm -hmm. And there are some people with the gift of fortune telling about people's fate. So this is also a common thing that you do after gossiping. So you gossip uh, for about 10 or 15 minutes. And then you spend another 10 minutes by trying to comment on the things that you see. Some people say, if, for example, if they see something like that, they tell like, there is a road to abroad, something like that, which is not here, but 
they just you know make comments like and they wish that it becomes the truth the in truth. their life in their life so as i said it's very common you can see it anywhere everywhere when you go to turkey okay. so all too soon uh, you can see we've already removed the mountain <laughs> we've devoured the food out there look when food tastes good you know what happens i actually went two rounds i didn't just eat what was this for me i went for another round and you can see my place everything is empty I left with my uh, my jajek, you know, even that one is almost gone. It, it really tastes good. This wasn't just cooking a meal, it was it was like, how should I put it? I didn't just enjoy the meal, but it was a whole lot of fun. I learned a lot how to make this meal and also how good the meat meal tasted was like. It was top notch. I mean, thanks to our main <laughs> chef and our... <laughs> <laughs> our assistant yeah. chef. I mean, Elena did great. Uh, Karim also did great. I guess I also supported greatly. I mean, so anytime you, you you are in Turkey, do not forget to try this meal. It's a traditional meal in Turkey, and it tastes really good. All right, so viewers, um, I have Karim here, uh, my wonderful friend from Turkey. Um, you know, it's not just the meal. It's not just the food. Uh, there are projects we are working on and uh, he's working on a wonderful project that I'm very interested in. It's, it's, it's superb and he's going to tell you a little bit about it. He do music, he's a musician as well. He has other projects he's working on. So he will be talking a little bit about it and uh, you can follow him on his social media handles, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and other platforms that he is. So Karim, can you tell us something small about your music career? Sure, like um, I have been playing guitar and singing for over now 20 years. Whoa, and 20 years that is a long <laughs> experience, man. Yes, and well, I don't show my age, right? Oh, <laughs> <of course. laughs> so, uh, I have released one album and some singles, and you can find it on Spotify and on my YouTube channel. So can you give uh, our viewers the names you use on Spotify, um, YouTube, Instagram, can you just share it? Definitely, this is uh, my name and surname, Kerem Bereketoğlu, uh, which maybe you can edit in the video yeah, and put it there. Here. And the, the viewers can always follow me on Instagram. Okay. So this is the place where I share, of course, my daily life and the projects that I am on. And right now, after I moved to Czech Republic, which just has been only three months, I have started another band. Oh. I usually play the guitar and the harmonica and sing. Uh, basically, I make folk rock. I used to make in Turkey, but now here in Czech Republic, I started a band that uh, our genre is progressive rock, and we already uh, started one, uh, composed one song. Oh, yes, and we have plans to release the song at the beginning of. 2023, hopefully. Oh, so uh, I mean, you can't you, you can't wait to hear those songs, you know. Uh, 2023, it should be yeah. January. I mean, yes, something like that. January, yeah. latest February. I'm actually going to follow that, and I mean, we are going to let you hear the song. If there are any videos to it, we are going to show you the videos to those very albums and the songs we are going to make. You know, I also do music, but on a low key. But what I'm going to do is maybe later we can do a collaboration. You know? We have to, we have to, yes. You can vote for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, yeah. I mean, tell us more about it. Uh, well, the music uh, I am making, like, I write the songs, I write the lyrics, I compose, and I mainly deal with all components of the music. Uh, uh, so, it's mainly because I am into literature as well as music so oh. I am also into poetry I can say that and I have a few books that were published both in Turkish and in English oh and you have some books that were published in Turkey and English yes in Turkish and English man I mean you have to tell your viewers we have to share those books they have to well, check them out I have the books that I wrote and I translated um, I don't think that's a problem they are already uh, sold or some of them are free on Amazon.com. Oh. You can also go with my name and search for the book. And do you oh. have some specific titles people should check? I mean, any title. Yes, I, actually, it? yes, there is one, and this is called this is from Zulu language, African language, and oh. it is called 
uh, in Zulu, it's pronounced in a very different way. In English, I can say Hambakane, but it's Embagate, actually, in Zulu. Which Zulu? Yeah, which means uh, when people, when a very loved one leaving a place and going for another one, they say Embagate, which means like farewell, like a good trip. You know, you know Karim is very vexed with the. Uh... The South African culture because I, I think he's been there for a while and stayed there for some time and uh, he's very very knowledgeable when it comes to the South African culture. Here he is teaching me Zulu. I've never heard that before. No. He's teaching me Zulu. Man. <laughs> well, I spent some time there uh, at a private place where the um, kids that are that that were affected because of like you know. AIDS, HIV, and all the kids um, with one parent or no parent at all. It was kind of orphanage, but also taking care of sick people as well. But that, that's a very good thing. I mean, anytime I see people who are doing humanitarian works, like yeah. you know, taking care of people, the poor, the needy, it's, it's, I feel like, you know, that is real life, you know? It is. Affecting You're... other people's lives by, by giving meanings to their lives, I feel. You know, so when he told me you did some work in South Africa, taking care of uh, uh, the kids and those things, I'm like, that's good, man. Because, you know, life is not all about yourself, but also trying to, you know, help others. So, I mean, Karim is, has a very good heart. I mean, looking after people kids like that I, i'm sure by now some of them are very grateful for your works you came to do in africa and, and i must applaud you for that and that is the reason why look we have to support what karim is doing because especially my african brothers and sisters this man has done a lot for our continent by you know, <laughs> taking care of some of our kids in south africa i'm sure by now they are old and they really appreciate the love you show them so we are also going to show love back to Kyrie. Thank you. Know? I, I did what I could, but it was not much. But yeah, but I mean, it's, it's almost like that. What that's, I, what I could something. back then. And right now I am, I kept a diary when I was in uh, Africa. Mm -hmm. So the diary consists of what I had experienced that day, all my ideas usually. And now there is, a, there is an internet site that helps writers uh, or basically all artists all type of you know who produces some art uh, to be supported by people who appreciate their work yeah, works, okay. yeah uh, and i am now in every other three day i am publishing one page from my diary that i kept in africa okay so maybe you can edit it at the link though so basically how it goes i am putting my writings there my diary and people who would like to read them and see the pictures i took there uh, they can, if they can support, they will access all of it. And as I mentioned in the site, maybe I use this money to go back there again. But uh, you know, today's world, I cannot make promise. So if there starts another pandemic, I have to, you know, cancel my plans. So, so I cannot promise. So uh, this is my first aim. First so I mean, uh, viewers, uh, we are going to do this. Uh, we all need you to go and support uh, what he left back in Africa. It's, you left a profile, right? Can I get it? What was it? You said you left something. And let me know the site. Where the, it's it's buy me a coffee. Uh, basically, you buy me a buy coffee. Buy me a coffee. Exactly. Like you, you are um, sending a coffee money. Coffee money. To do, not only to me. There are lots of beautiful like uh, people there who are sharing their artistic works so. okay so just go to buy me a coffee uh, look for karim's uh, profile yeah and please buy karim a coffee because <laughs> he gave me coffee when i came here in fact the most authentic coffee from tech so once he's giving me coffee let's buy karim a coffee as well man. thank you thank you i appreciate it all right thank you karim uh, i really appreciate your time today thank and you. uh uh i mean Let's keep doing what we are doing, and I believe with time, uh, the world will learn to appreciate what you do. It always doesn't start like, you know, immediately. You wouldn't see the impact you've made in other people's lives immediately, but with time, you know, you'll be surprised. One day someone will come like, you know, the one who helped me do this life. Yes. You know, so that's how exactly. it is. Exactly. Yeah. So let's just, I mean, keep doing what we're doing, and I believe with time, people are going to appreciate and be thankful for the impact you've made in their lives. 
okay. Viewers, you are on Blaze TV. I repeat, you are on Blaze TV and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and buy my brother a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and buy me a coffee. <laughs> buy me a coffee. Thank you. <laughs> right. So keep watching Blaze TV. Do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And do not forget to follow my brother Karim mm -hmm. on his pages. I'm actually going to put it below. You can see them below. Just follow him, support him, and do not forget about buy me a coffee. I'm very <laughs> interested in that, you know, yeah. because it, it, it's about where it's coming from, where the story. It's all about where the story is coming from, the South African trip and his impact in South Africa. You know, my I'm very happy anytime I see people trying to help the less privileged. So it's all about the South African trip and him impacting in other people's lives. So please, as he has bought me a coffee, so the coffee I was drinking today is really good. So buy my brother a coffee. Do not forget to, to subscribe to Blaze TV and YouTube and subscribe to my brother's channel as well. I was the channel name again, Karim. Uh, can you give the channel name? So uh, my name my name is surname basically, Keram Bereke Tolu, but here the the main person is him just Keep following, please. Man. Yeah. But it's still about him. <laughs> He's our guest today, so please do not forget to do that. Thank you very much. You. Catch you same time next week. Bye. 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 Let's just how do you say bye bye in uh, in Turkish language? Like uh, good say it like see you later. Something like see you later. See you okay. Good shoes. Gerushus. 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 Yeah. So can we say that? Gerushus. Okay, so. Oh, Hoshakal. Hoshakal. We can say Hoshakal. Come on, Hoshakal. Hoshakal. Like, good, good boy. Farewell. Hoshakal. Hoshakal. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Okay, so. Um, all too soon, our program has come to an end, and we are going to say goodbye in the Turkish language. So, how do we say it? Hoshakal. Hoshakal. Yeah. Hoshakal.